Good morning crew members, it is Krebsko here with the World of Tanks replay and also a live cast this time. Wow, that is going to be absolutely fantastic. So we're going to have a big mix of both of them. And in fact, what we're going to be doing first is just this quick uh, match that somebody has set me in. And then we're going to be following this by a live, uh, a few live games, maybe one or two. I have yet to decide as I'm making this right now, but I'm sure you guys will find out from the video itself. Now, I'm actually only going to be specifically focusing on the action bits of this replay because pretty much everything is condensed into this one small portion of the replay where all the action is and then everything else is just like you know downtime and uh quiet uh quiet time right and so i might as well just show you what the main action is and it's pretty cool it's pretty intense and you just gotta see what happens here and this is how he gets a, a stupendous amount of uh credits and xp and i'll show you guys that result at the very end as well okay so this is the match that we're gonna be looking at today this is sent in by the boo boo dabby i believe that's his name that sent it in uh his name in the game is nos bigger and this is his uh team and his enemy team that he's gonna be taking on and they're gonna be playing on el haluf in a standard battle so if we know what el haluf is all about if you look at the bottom right hand corner of the map uh, what tends to happen is that scouts head down along the south side where they can immediately uh, start, well, scouting out. And usually they'll try to run for the uh, ditches and the hills on the southern side so that they can start making their way up there. Uh, that's just, it's just the usual tendency of what happens. Uh, idiots go towards the middle and just die instantly. And the more smarter players will try to battle it out. Uh, the heavier ones, the mediums, try to battle it up out up over here whilst uh, campers and such maybe TDs will just stay up on the uh, northern uh, sides the spawn points where uh, there's some cover okay now anyway let's get this game started okay and here we go okay so he's making his way up on the hill and he's got some tank supporting him some tank destroyers funnily enough T49 and also the M8A1 they're not the uh, they're sort of like these mobile tank destroyers, they're not like the immobile. I know all tanks can move in this game, that'd be kind of ridiculous if you just had this tank that had no tracks. That'd be actually quite hilarious in a way, wouldn't it? A tank with just no tracks and just sits there and just rotates all the time. Uh, yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, these uh, tank destroyers over here are quite mobile and so uh, it's not really their position to be camping. They try to actually like outmaneuver tanks and fly, uh, go around them from flanks and, you know, circle around them, right? Okay, but M7MT, uh, right over there, already about to be engaged here. Let's take a look at the actual player camera. And oh my god, massive shot out on the M7MT, taking it down to 11% from 100%. Oh my god, it almost looked like the uh, shell of the KV-1S actually hit the ground there and exploded right in front of him. I doubt that actually happened, but maybe it did. I don't know. It actually looked like that. And he took it down to 11% already, so that's one quick way of learning how... Uh, how not to play this game. You can already tell that M7 has run away. He's like at the bottom of the hill now. He's like, Mommy! Mommy! Where are you? I don't want to die. Um, but yeah, the KV-1S over here just trying to engage all of these tanks. Now the KV-1S is quite a decent tank indeed. And I was quite surprised about the credits and XP that I got. You guys are going to have to see it at the end. But uh, quite a decent tank because... Uh, it plays a lot differently from the KV, KV-1. I don't have the actual tanks, I can't, so I can't really say, but this is what information I have actually collected. Uh, KV-1S has, um, it's quite a speedy, the most speediest tank for its tier. It's a heavy tank, but plays like a medium, apparently. It uh, has a very powerful cannon, however, it's not the most accurate. It takes a long time to reload. It also suffers in terms of its armor capabilities and also its hit points. If you actually look at its hit points, it's not that much for um, a tier 6 heavy. Hmm, kind of unusual. But anyway, but oh my god, here's what I was talking about. All this uh, action condensed into one little area. This is everything. Imagine if you will, if you were in a position like this, being circled from, what is that, one, two, three, four, five maybe tanks up front over there? Yeah, five tanks, one just being destroyed right now. And some other tank that was coming in from the from the back. That's like six tanks. The six tanks in total. I think like two of them are finished off now. But uh, so there's only four left. And his teammates beside him have been absolutely wrecked and torn apart. And only now. Oh, look, he's actually aiming for the. Um, oh God, I always say this wrong. Uh, I like to say Capola. Cu cupola, cupola. That, there we go. Yes, he was aiming for the cupola of the uh, other KV-1S just up there, a uh, weak point of it, a uh, weak point of pretty much every single tank out there. If you can hit that, then I think you can actually sometimes uh, kill the commander, I believe. 
And so, uh, you can also do some decent damage, and there we go, and big massive shot on the M6. But oh my god, here we go, here is the... Uh, here is the armada, the reinforcements coming in at last. Why weren't they up here at the beginning? Why are they only coming now when everything has been turning to crap? KV-1S right here by uh, Nose Bigger just has uh, hardly any uh, health points left. 94, you can tell he was on the brink of death when that KV... Uh, 1S on the enemy team was coming up, it was just like a moment of OH MY GOD AM I GOING TO DIE OR NOT? Uh, but he actually survived, so well done to him. Uh, that tank over there was a T-28, uh, being killed just so, so, so fast. I mean, he was one of the reinforcements, but come on, you have to know El Halouf. You know that you should never ever take cover right there behind that place, because the, you'll get shot by artillery. Only a tier 3 artillery on the enemy team, but still, uh, it's a lower tier match, and even a tier 3, if you only have a few health points left or they get a lucky shot in your ammo rack or something, I don't know, uh, they can they can destroy you and that's what happened. Anyway, massive shot on the Churchill, taking on its turret. Usually most turrets are weaker for tanks, but I believe the Churchill is actually, its turret is actually weaker than its hull, funnily enough. If you actually look at it, it's quite a pathetic little turret, it's quite small but it's weakly armored, and so it's each easy to penetrate. There we go, KV-1S being destroyed, and that was five kills for Nos Bigger, and that was the action that I was talking about. So, if you will, let's skip on over to the results. And here we go, that is a victory for his team. Notice that he's still got five kills, um, and he's gotten all this experience and credits a lot for for, well, maybe he's a premium, I don't know, maybe he has a premium account or something, but still, that's a lot for just a non-premium tank, so he's got that much experience, 2,188, that much credits, 100,000, and uh, not much repair, so that's perfect. Head on over to his personal achievements, he's destroyed all of that, 5, just one short of the uh, top gun, he's damaged all of those tanks, and he's detected all of those, so plenty and plenty and plenty of them, so that detection of all of them and maintaining the sight on all those tanks would have helped so much in gaining all these things, all these uh, bonuses, and shots 12, hit target 10, hits received 10. Uh, I'm told that apparently he's one shot uh, short of the steel wall, as you're saying, and I believe you have to get a minimum of 11 hits received to actually get it. Also depends uh, if you've received the uh, most hits on your enemy, on your team as well. So, I don't know, maybe there would be more people on his team that would have taken more hits. I don't know, uh, probably not considering the amount of people that died in his team in that one area. But he was one short, so one short of the Top Gun and Steel Wall. So well done to Nosbigger for sending this uh, replay in and getting it casted. And for doing a good job in his KV-1S. I like seeing good gameplay and I wish he could be on my team. Usually, okay? So anyway guys, let's head on over to some live game play. Woohoo! Okay guys, now we move on to the actual live cast, and well, good morning everyone. <laughs> uh, this is uh, me, I've not long woken up, just, uh, I don't know, maybe like an hour or so ago, so my hair is messy, I haven't even taken a shower yet. I probably look a mess, you can even see a tan line on me, and wow, I must look so ugly. <laughs> don't pay attention to me, pay attention to the game! Anyway guys, right, so we're going to just jump on straight into it, we were doing this in the last episode, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to play some uh, other cool tanks. So I'm going to play uh, the Type 59 because I just feel like playing it, it's going to be coming out on to sale very very soon, and so maybe some of you guys are thinking about buying this tank, so hey ho, we'll just try it out and see what it's like. I've only played a few games with it, uh, not tons and tons and tons, but overall impressions is that yeah, it's a decent tank, I don't see what, anything really wrong with it. Got really nice sloped armor, it's fast, and yeah, whatever. Okay, and let's go battle. Alright, so here we go, this is Port Standard Battle. God, what happened to Encounter and Assault? I swear, I hardly ever play that ma match mode. Um, anyway, so this is the match <laughs> that we're going to be doing. I'm a tier 8, and all the highest tiers are tier 8s as well. Enemy team, Louvre, T32, VK, I'm not really even worried about those tanks, to be honest with you. Uh, those are all fine. Maybe the only thing I'd be a bit cautious about is the T32, but... I mean, the Louvre, so easy to hit pretty much everywhere. VK, in my opinion, is so easy to hit as well. Uh, just has like a big body, so it's like impossible to actually miss it. Uh, Alright, so let's look for some funny names while this goes on. Johnny Pike, Graftek, Le Charles Martel, Underwater, Lord Green Buddy, Stormtrooper, okay. Uh, T-34, 
Kiss the life of the uh, European servers, as I like to say. No humor at all. Anyway, so let's head on down. Oh god, I've hardly ever played this map. I've only played- this is actually the second time I've played this map, so what the hell do I do? Um, actually, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head down along this uh, path, this route along this side, because I died when I was playing on the opposite side, along the rail tracks on that end, so I'm gonna try to be the enemy team in that match. You guys obviously didn't see it, but let's- let's pretend that uh, you know what I'm talking about, so let's head down this way. Ooh, really cool maps, eh? Uh, totally, total big diversity in these maps nowadays. Uh, good morning, guten tag, guten Mor morgen. I don't speak German. I have never even actually learned German. I've got a few German friends, actually, so... Uh, oh, I wonder if somebody's gonna be coming down straight here. Yeah, it looks like he might be. If he's a dafty, anyway. Yag Panther. Okay, right. I don't think that Panzer 38 and he's gonna come in down here because he's dead right now. He's dead. And I have a feeling that stuff might be shooting around here. And last thing I want to do is to get caught up by a side fire, which just happened to this guy over here. Run, 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 run! Right, that KV-5 was absolutely massacred. Well, it wasn't massacred. He's not dead yet, but I mean... He was just shot from the side there, you can see that big engine fire, he was on fire. Uh, let's see if I can hit something here. Come on out. Ah! All you can see is my turret, and this, my turret is very, very sloped, in fact. So... Oh, come on! Hit! I was aloof right there, which would be such an easy kill, but I can't, I can't do it. Oh god, I think all our guys are dying over here. What's going on? Right, I know the saying is, the saying is, if you're the highest of your tier on your team, then you should be the one that's leading the game, and I totally agree with that. In fact, I should be leading the game, and I'm just put in this really awkward position because there's enemies everywhere, and I don't know how to get out of this. Oh, come on! What is wrong with... <laughs> Just going for it. I think he's right, Yobi. Yeah. Enemy ah! destroyed. He totally missed. What a massive miss. And nothing can see me because I'm so low on the ground as well. Yes, I like it. Hello. <laughs> I want him to shoot first. Hello! Shoot! Ah! Now I can make my move. Get some more cover. So, where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Bounce What?! On a Tiger P?! I'm a tier 8 for God's sake! Enemy is hit. Where are you gonna shoot? Ah, oh, you bastard. Shot me somewhere nice. God damn it, if they both come at me, I've got no cover! God damn it! Please, somebody help. I need some more uh, help along the flanks here. Oh god, sick. Damn it! No! How do you do so much damage to me? Oh my god! How do you do so much damage to me? What the hell is this? I need to play a more defensive role now. And artillery is trying to kill me here. Come on, guys! I need some more support, for God's sake! I need somebody to come around the back. Maybe I should do it. But then I'll probably get revealed from the side. Let's see. Oh my god! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? No! Oh, damn 
damn it! Come on! Where is my team? They see me suffering down here! They see me suffering down here! Nobody comes and helps me! What is wrong with them? There's only th retards standing right there! Oh my god, they could have come in from so many directions. Oh, it's painful to watch games like these. Anyway, uh, next game. Uh, right. God, I wish some of those shots actually penetrated. I would have actually survived that if some of those shots just actually penetrated. Freaking tanks. Anyway, uh, let's see. What other, what other tanks should we play? Uh, maybe we'll go for the Louvre. Do you guys want to play the Louvre? Um, maybe we should play a lower tier tank this time. Okay, we can do that. We can play... Uh, or... It's actually a good choice. I bet you guys are probably screaming right now at what I should play. I'm just trying to find something that, you know, is fits my my mood right now. Maybe maybe we'll go for this ELC AMX. I played this once and I was like, what the hell do you do to actually play this thing? It's so, so awkward. Uh, we'll actually go for a manual fire extinguisher because last time I actually played with this, uh, I was thinking, no, I'm not going to get set on fire, but I actually was set on fire. So. Let's get going. Okay, I got this tank for free because I have an AMX 12T already and then they, in the latest patch, they actually moved it up. Uh, and so, they there was a gap there and so they basically gave me the tank for free and plus all the research with it as well. So now I have this ELC AMX. Uh, and it's, I tried it once and it was the most weirdest tank I've ever played. One, because I like to say it looks like an Oreo cookie. As in, if you look at it, it's actually like the width of an Oreo cookie or the height. It's actually like the hull of a normal tank minus the turret, if you can just compare it to the VK3601H over there. Uh, also, it has a non-rotatable turret, something that I had to learn the hard way last round because I was just trying to... Uh, attack enemies like circle around them and it wasn't happening because I couldn't even attack them Sure, I can circle around them, but I can't even circle my uh, my turret. So I Think this tank is more meant to be like a uh, a stop and go tank as in you get to your location very very fast you shoot from a distance and then you relocate to another area and um, So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm trying to I'm gonna try to hit the hit this place up over here uh, as fast as I possibly can through the water oh my god I almost submerged myself completely I wonder if you actually submerge completely if you die probably not but wow only my turret was revealed there all the guys inside the uh, tank are like oh my god free bath I haven't bathed in days it can rotate slightly but it can't it can barely I can, it can't even do a uh, do a full 360 or anything what the hell this Truck is already crushed. Okay. Oop. And maybe take some cover just behind stuff over here. Maybe I'll see somebody coming up from up top there. Anyway, maybe, anyway, I don't know. This tank is really difficult to play. Um, it's very, very strange. Uh, I think it's completely like it's an own category of just weirdness. Oh, shit. Hello. Yeah, I know, I see you. I'm not a dumbass. I'm not gonna come out. My chances here. And he's probably aiming me down now. Oh, I think I can hear something breaking back here. Yep, I can. I'm sure. We nailed him back. Oh god, hello. Track hit. Ooh, jeez. The commander is knocked out. That is a big heavy tank. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Any day now? So one of my crew members is knocked out. Actually, no, I need to get him back up because I think the reloading was actually going really, really slow there. So maybe I'll come up behind this thing. I'm just worried about... Oh, no, no, I need enemy tanks. That's okay. Okay, so he's dead. Now there's some enemy tanks just down here. So why don't we hit them? No, 
don't understand this point. What are you guys doing? Ah! Go! <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Penetration. And now it's probably like, what the hell is going on? Another massive shot! Yeah! Nice! Woohoo! Okay, I'm liking it so far. It's such a weird tank. It's like it's like you want to attack tanks like in a certain way, but you get limited by the way that you can actually do it. And so maybe I'll catch this guy on this retreat here. Yeah, I got him, but he got me. Nah, that wasn't ideal. I mean, I could have easily have killed him there before he shot me. Wasn't ideal, but it'll do, I suppose. Oh god, our base! Guys, what are you doing? No, I need to get back to the base. F3, back to base. I'm gonna go anyway, because I, I'm at least speedy, you know? I can at least defend over there. Uh, one of our tanks is going back, the KV-1S. He's got a fast top speed, as we were doing in the uh, first gameplay. And so, that's good. At least he's going to get there very quickly. I'm going to come support him, I guess. Oh, we still got an artillery in our base. I didn't even notice that. I was actually looking at the icons. It's like, what the hell? I don't see anything. Oh, it's probably because my range. He was out of my range, okay? Come, come, come. Damn it. Let's see him. Need to get there as fast as possible. Artillery is like panicking like hell. Back to base, guys. Back to base. Oh god, he's about to get circled here, I can tell. God, I wish that this fucking thing would <laughs> zoom in quicker. coming from the side. He's looking for me. <laughs> for God's sake. And where's my team? This is why you guys, you are a dumbass. You are a dumbass and you are a dumbass as well. It was so obvious they were attacking our base and only now you're coming back! What are you doing? <sighs> I swear I could just rip out my hair from people like this. I mean, come on, there was, we had me and that freaking KV-1S and some other guy came back and pretty much defending it and now it's probably lost. Probably not gonna save it now. Way too late. Three, two, one. Oh my God! You guys are just dumbasses. So late. Why didn't you all come back? What is the harm in that? Why would you go try to capture the enemy base when they still might have tanks there? Why not just go all back to your base, defend it, destroy them, and then there'll be like no tanks except the artillery on the enemy team left? I don't understand. I don't understand the people's logic in this game. Anyway guys, that was the second time I ever played the ELC AMX, and I thought it was a pretty decent match. Tried to be a team player there, getting three kills. Uh, what am I? I'm a tier 5, and we were playing up against tier 6s, so that's good. Almost got a fourth kill there, but he was down to 2%. 
damn so close. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode and these casts and whatever live games and the actual shoutcast. And I hope I will see you on the battlefield, so I will catch you all later crew members, and until next time, bye bye